On December 7, 2021, the Indiana Pacers announced that they were looking to rebuild by trading their current players towards future young assets. So at the trade deadline, the Indiana Pacers <laughs> traded their guard Karis LeVert and a second round pick uh, to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Ricky Rubio, who was on expiring contract and also was out for the season with a torn ACL and received a 2022 lottery protected first round pick and two second round picks. Now, since that was a lottery protected and the Cavs did miss the playoffs, that pick is going to become a future pick uh, down the line. Uh, following the Levert trade, the Indiana Pacers shocked the world by trading two-time All-Star uh, DeBondis uh, Sabonis, Jeremy Lamb, Justin Holiday, and a 2027 second round pick in exchange for Kings Tyrese Halliburton, Buddy Heald, and Tristan Thompson. Now, this trade was absolutely phenomenal for them. People were very shocked that the Kings would trade Tyrese Halliburton. Most teams didn't even know he was available for trade because he's an absolutely outstanding player and he's played phenomenal uh, for the King, uh, for the Pacers since he's uh, arrived there. As long as Buddy Heald's been playing really well for them too, this was definitely a big win for the Indiana Pacers moving on in their rebuild. Uh, since the Pacers traded away two key starters for them, they lost a lot of games, which was kind of their plan all along. And they ended up getting the sixth pick overall in this year's draft, which should be a pretty decent pick. And that sixth pick should bring them a pretty good player if they happen to land it and hit on the right prospect. Bob come up with four trades using the ESPN trade machine to help improve this rebuild from the Indiana Pacers. The first trade I have here is to the Phoenix Suns. Now, in the world of this trade, uh, they have let go of DeAndre Ayton because that's been a lot a big rumor this offseason that the Suns are not willing to pay him the max. And there are teams like the Blazers and like the Pistons who are willing to give him that max extension. So, in this trade, uh, going over to Phoenix, the, uh, the Pacers are trading Miles Turner uh, and Brissett in exchange for Dario Sarge, Torrey Craig, and Cam Johnson. And I have Phoenix throwing in a first round pick, which won't be too valuable because they're gonna be a top four seed um, you know, next season. So in terms of the Indiana side, uh, they get a nice young wing in Cam Johnson, who's been an outstanding six man for the, uh, for the Suns this year. and will be a great wing player for the Pacers. The Godaro Saric, who has missed like a year and a half now with a torn ACL, but he's a pretty good uh, role player contributor uh, at a young age. Uh, who can help this Indiana team. And then Torrey Craig is going back to Indiana. Uh, he's really just in here for contract reasons. And the Phoenix Suns are getting a nice stretch five shot blocking center in Miles Turner and Brissett, who's a nice young player, but in order to make the contracts work, he has to be in this trade. Now, following that trade, uh, I have a trade going to the Denver Nuggets. Now in exchange that the Pacers are sending over Buddy Heald in exchange for uh, Aaron Gordon and Bones Highland. Now for uh, the Indiana side, they're getting a nice wing, Aaron Gordon, who's kind of been disappointing for the Nuggets. They really needed him to step up in the playoffs this year with the absence of Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray. And that was not the case. He pretty much underperformed. But he's still a, a nice young player, um, which I think is promising for this Nuggets team. However, he might end up being a trade asset in the future if they can improve his trade value. And also Bones Highland is an outstanding rookie for them, a great young point guard and he's really the centerpiece of the for indiana in this trade and, and they're sending home buddy healed who would be a phenomenal player for the denver nuggets um and to make this trade a little more even i i have uh, denver throwing in maybe two or three second round picks or a first round pick which is going to be a pretty solid pick for the nuggets to trade away because you know with the turn of, of porter and murray and buddy healed that pick would be not that valuable, but again, it would be another future asset for the Indiana Pacers to either use in a draft or to trade away um, for a, another player. So following that trade, I have a trade to New York. Now, the Indiana Pacers will be trading away Malcolm Brogdon, who's been a phenomenal player for them when he's been healthy. Uh, he had a really good run in Milwaukee, and then he signed with the Pacers and had record shooting splits, shooting a really, really high percentage and great efficiency. He's overall an outstanding point guard, kind of been on the all-star borderline when he's been healthy. So I think, you know, moving him to a new location, which New York, when then he'll become the primary ball handler, would be a very, very good idea for them. So in return, Pacers will be getting Evan Fournier, who is in here for contract reasons, but he's a pretty good, you know, spot-up shooter. You know, pretty much take Buddy Heald's place at a less efficient rate and not as good of an asset. But they're also getting Obi Toppins, who's shown promise this year, and Cam Reddish, who's still kind of on the border whether he's going to be a good role player or not he's not getting uh, consistent minutes in new york and he wasn't playing too well in atlanta you know the first half of the season so i think this is a pretty even trade i mean a lot of teams are pretty set at the point guard spot except for the new york knicks so i don't think this is too much to give up on new york's end and i think this is an absolute haul for the pacers for what they're trying to build right now 
just get in young assets, rebuild, land a couple times in the draft, and just, you know, build with that core guys. And I think adding two wings and Obi Toppin and Cam Reddish along with playing with Tyrese Halliburton would be a very, very good combo for them um, and set them great moving forward for a nice rebuild. And the final trade of the day, I have them trading Miles Turner to the Brooklyn Nets in exchange for Joe Harris, Cam Thomas, and Nick Claxton. Now for the uh, Brooklyn side, they're in a scramble right now. Um, they need to find pieces to make it work, to make this offense work because they're paying a lot of money to a lot of guys and they're not getting anywhere. Um, so they lacked in interior defense, three-point shooting, and just overall size. And Miles Turner is that answer for them. He brings them all three of those. In exchange, they trade Joe Harris, who missed the majority of the season this year with an ankle surgery. He's not a young, he's not really a young asset for the Pacers, but I think they could play him, you know, this next season, build up his trade value because he did average 15 points this season in the games that he played. And, he, and he's an overall 13 to 15 points per game guy and also an outstanding three-point shooter. So if they can play him for a year, get his, you know, trade assets up and maybe trade him to a contending team in exchange for a couple of young assets down the line. Also, Cam Thomas, a nice young shot creator who showed a lot of promise. And Nick Claxton, another young forward slash center uh, who could hopefully blossom, uh, you know, playing in Indiana. And since the Nets are such in a scramble and panic mode right now, I think maybe they could swindle a first round pick for them that's way in the future, which could potentially be very, very valuable. I mean, the Nets have already traded away all their picks. Why not trade one more, I guess? Um, or, they be, or, or maybe they can settle for a couple second rounders, which then they can use another trade or draft them, and hopefully they land, which would be very rare. But just get as many assets as you can right now. I think they should completely try to bottom out because um, they already have a nice star in Tyrus Halliburton. I think Halliburton can be a top three or four point guard in the Eastern Conference for the next year or two. Um, I think he's that good on both ends of the ball. Yeah, so those are my four trades for the Indiana Pacers. I have two more videos right here that are also trade videos just like this one. So if you liked it, like, subscribe, and check out these videos. Peace.